have two sewing makes to share with you. And the first one is McCall's 7121. And this is what it looks like. I found this blue um, knit fabric that I thought was so pretty. And the dress is really long. And I left the hem raw. I didn't finish off the hem. And the, it's got gathers all around the whole front and the back of the dress. And the only concern or I don't even know if it's a concern, but the only issue with this dress is the fact that the back was super, super low. Like it was really low. So what I did was I went and I found some lace and I found lace that matched pretty much perfectly. And I was able to just add a little bit of lace to the back to kind of help with the low cut in the back. And um, it makes the dress look nice. However, I still can't wear a bra without it showing in the back. And I've tried everything. I've tried the bras with the extended straps that, that uh, not buckle, but that hook kind of low. And I tried those. And then I did the, um, what do you call it? Strapless bra. That didn't work. So what I ended up doing was using those types of bras where they stick. So I used that and it seemed like that worked okay. But um, yeah, that's the dress. I really like it. If I ever make it again, I don't think I will make that low view or either I would raise the back up a little bit so it wouldn't be so low in the back. Um, so yeah, that is that and I will show you what it looks like on. Okay, so the next sewing make is a scrap buster and I use Simplicity 8827, let me make sure, yes. And it's a little uh, apron and it's not maybe the cutest, <laughs> but I like it because I was able to just use my scraps. So this, it has uh, straps in the back and I folded them up and pinned them because they're really, really long. These are pockets in the front and I just used some old jeans that I had laying around and this is a pink from a pink coat that I made and this is from a dress and this is from a pair of pants or a blazer so yeah I like that you know I can kind of look at this and see the different things that I've made and my whole point in making this apron was because I wanted something to wear when I'm sewing something that has pockets in the front so you know I can drop things in there if I need them notions or you know extra little knickknacks here and there so yeah I haven't um, worn this as I've been sewing yet because I wanted to show it to you all and now that I've shown it to you I will be so excited to wear this the next time I'm making something so yeah that is that make so those are all the makes that I have to show to share with you today before I go I want to give you a love share so my love share for today is actually a product that I just purchased recently actually I got it yesterday and I bought it from the container store and it's called a box seat and it's by poppin this is what it looks like in the package and you're probably thinking what in the world is that right okay so let me show you on the back well, let me tell you what it is. What it is, is it's an actual seat. So you unfold it, it pops up, and then you um, can sit on it. You can put your stuff in it so it's like storage. And then it's a seat after you put your stuff in it. It shows how you can put different things in there. And then the last picture shows someone actually sitting on the chair right there, or the box. So yeah, I thought that that was so interesting and I definitely wanted to have one for my sewing room. I have a closet that I really need to get organized and I thought it would be a great place to put some extra fabric. So yeah that is all that I wanted to share with you today and I will put a link to this um, box seat if anyone is interested and thank you so much for watching and I will see you the next time.